You are welcome to Avers Time. This is God's divine arrangement to turn your life around for good. We encourage you to listen attentively as God's servant, Joseph Okwala, brings to you the message of life from God's throne of grace. Good morning, everybody. You are welcome to Avers Time. Shall we pray? Lord, we want to thank you for your love and your kindness over our lives. We say, be thy exalted, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for this new day. We ask that you will send your word this new day, and by your word, you will transform our lives, and you will settle all our problems in the name of Jesus Christ. May you make this season a season of harvest of miracles. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to speak this morning on the most neglected problem. The most neglected problem. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The most neglected universal problem. Every same person. We quickly respond to the pain of sickness and diseases in his body. When the sickness or the disease is a terminal disease, quick and sharp response is made. In fact, men will seek for help, and I mean medical help, from anywhere in the world, wherever it is available. Now, when it is financial difficulties, the actions of men cannot even be predicted. You see men want to get rid of financial mess, either by legitimate means or illegitimate means, just to get away from the trouble of financial difficulties. But you hardly see anywhere in the world, where you see human beings running at a scatter because of the problem of sin. Sin is the most neglected problem, and it is a universal problem. Every one of us, irrespective of skin, tribe, or color, we have the problem of sin. Every one of us, irrespective of color of our skin and the, our nationality, we do not bother to look for solution to the problem of sin. And indeed, we all have this problem. The Bible says in Psalm 51 verse 5 that I was born a sinner. My mother conceived me in sin. All of us, we are sinners by birth. And Jesus Christ made us to understand that sin had polluted our persons. Looking at Mark chapter 7, Jesus Christ is saying that what pollutes a man is not what he eats, is not what he drinks, is what comes from within. Jesus Christ said in Mark 7, 21, said, For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. He concluded, he said, all these evil things come from within and defile the man. The most neglected universal problem. I need to tell you that sin is terrible more than sickness. Sin is terrible more than diseases. All the diseases and the sicknesses in the world, put them together. None of them carries the power that sins carry. The worst that sin, that sickness or disease can do for anyone is to terminate your life. But sin will not only terminate your life, we hand you over and we send you to hell. 
And that is where you experience eternal damnation. Romans says, the scripture I read to you says, for all have sinned, all. You are inclusive. I am inclusive. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because we are sinners, that makes us to be children of the devil. Because the scripture says, anyone that commits sin is a child of the devil. Do you know, we all sinned in Adam. In Romans chapter 5 verse 12. The word of God says, Wherefore, as by one man sin enter into the world, and death by sin, and so death pass upon all men, for that all have sinned. This is the scriptures. Your testimony does not valid here. For the fact that you rated yourself that you are not a sinner, that you have never committed a sin, does not make you to be the person who has spoken the truth. You are, you are a liar. Because the word of God cannot lie. The word of God said, All have sinned. And sin separated us from God. Sin brought unto humanity sorrow, troubles, and death. This is the certainty of the pains that sin brought to everyone. I need to tell you that sin will not allow anyone to enter into heaven. Sin will banish you. From eternal bliss of heaven. I need. I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you. I Are you hungry for the undiluted word of God? Then join us every Monday for our weekly Bible study, Tag at His Feet, where we shall be learning systematically from the Bible, principles of Christ for our day-to-day -day walk and the Christian journey. At His Feet holds every Monday beginning from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Ebron Center behind Community Borehole, Yawiri Village, Akobo Ujuni, Ibado. You can also join us via the live broadcast on Facebook at Strego Media. Choose the right part today by joining us to learn at the Master's Feet. See you there. <laughs> I need to let you see that God has made provision for the cure of sin, which is a universal problem. No one can cleanse himself from sin. The scripture made it clear in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 9. The scripture make it clear that none of us can cleanse ourselves. None of, us, none of us can claim that I am pure when it comes to the matter of sin. The word of God says, who can say, I have made my heart clean. I am pure from my sin. Absolutely no one, no one. And there is no atonement you can make for yourself that will make you to be cleansed from sin. Micah chapter 6 verse 7 says, if I kill a thousand rams, even if you graduate to kill 10,000 rams, your sin will still remain. The stain of sin and the fabric of your soul remain intact. And no one can save you from sin. No religion can save you from sin. You cannot save yourself by self-righteousness. You cannot save yourself from sin by keeping the law. You cannot save yourself from sin by doing good works. Because all of this comes from a polluted heart. Self-righteousness comes from a polluted heart. Keeping the law comes from a polluted heart. Doing goods, every good that human being does. You can win men accolade. Men accolade. But I need to tell you, before God, your sins still remain. Jesus Christ is the only cure for sin. Jesus Christ is the atonement for our sin. He had settled this universal problem through his death on the cross. The scripture saying in verse John chapter 2 verse 2, he said, and he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Jesus Christ is the cure 
of sin. He had settled this universal problem by his death on the cross. Chapter 4 of that epistle was done. Chapter 4 of this first John, verse 10 says, Hearing his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Jesus Christ has done it. Jesus Christ is the cure of sin. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 5, And ye know that he, that is Christ Jesus, was manifested to take away our sin. And in him is no sin. Beloved, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from sin and delivers from sin. In 1 John 1, 7, the word of God says, The blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, cleanses us from all sin. Will you come to Jesus now? You don't need to run at a scatter. Actually, there is no solution elsewhere. The problem of sin, Jesus has said to it. What God wants from me is say, come. Jesus said, come unto me. Will you bend your knees and bow your heart and pray? Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I cannot help myself. Yes, Lord, forgive me my sin. Give me a new heart. Give me a new spirit. Jesus, I believe you are the savior of the world. Come and save me from my sin. You manifested to take away sin. Come and take away sins from my heart. Deliver me this day. I accept you today as the Lord of my life and as my personal savior. Come and live the life that overcomes sin in my heart. Thank you because you have done it in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for all my hearers that by the power of the cross, by the power of the cross, you will crush all the powers of sin, whatever be the addiction of sin in the life of my hearer. That power of sin, that addiction is broken today in the name of Jesus. Whatever sins have introduced into your life, whatever pain, whatever sorrow, whatever trouble, I terminate all this day in the name of Jesus Christ. A new chapter is open for you. A new life begins in your life. A new glory is done over your life. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. In Jesus' name, we pray. We believe you have been blessed by the word of God you just heard. For further help or counsel, you can reach the man of God on this number 0806-398-0914. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Struggle Media for more spiritual messages. Or visit our website at www.strugglemedia.com to download those messages for free. Thank you for staying to the end of this program. Join us again, same station, same time in next week. God bless you.